Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box and I'm ready to kick off another year of cookie decorating and I have a really tasty tutorial for you today. Let's celebrate Valentine's Day with our new taco pizza latte cookie decorating kit. I think you're really gonna love this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make three different fun cookies, a taco, a pizza, and a latte, and then I'll also demonstrate how to stencil some message cookies to go along with these, and they will make amazing Valentine's gifts. So this tutorial is paired up with our kit. You can find it on flowerbox.com or use the link in the status below. On that page, you'll also find the free download for the Pizza Toppings Royal Icing Transfer Sheet. It's all there on flowerbox.com. But I am ready to get into this decorating, so let's cookie it up. To kick things off, let's take a look at the taco cookie. This is probably my favorite from this tutorial. I'm going to outline the taco shell. I have a tip number two on my piping bag, and then I'm going to flood in that taco shell using a 10 second icing. The color of this icing is a light golden yellow, and for a full list of the icing colors in this project, definitely check out that kit tutorial page. Now to make this taco shell look a little bit more realistic, we're going to splatter just a little bit of brown food color onto the surface of the shell. So I mix just a dot of the Buckeye Brown Chef Master Gel with a teardropper full of alcohol, and that alcohol will evaporate, just leaving behind that color on the shell. I do have a glove on my hand just to keep my hand from getting messy and I'm using a square brush to just flick the bristles. I'm running my finger across those bristles to flick that color onto the taco shell to give it some speckles. Now once we have our speckled taco shell, I'm going to add some tomatoes and I have just a single medium 20 second icing consistency in my bag. I didn't even bother to put a tip on this bag because we're just going to create these small little half circles and then cleanup will be super easy when we're all done. Now I'm gonna add the taco meat. I have a dark Buckeye Brown in my piping bag and I'm just going to add a couple of scalloped areas to look like the taco meat. Once we have the taco meat on there, I'm ready to add the lettuce. And to make this have a super fun texture, I have tip number 352 on my leaf green icing bag. And you just wanna make sure that that icing consistency is a nice piping or thicker piping consistency so that those leaves hold their shape. And you can find that tip number 352 in the taco pizza latte cookie decorating kit. Now we're almost done with our taco fillings. We're just gonna add some cheese. And I just mixed up a little bit of golden yellow, darker than the taco shell color, um, to look like the cheddar cheese. Now this is definitely a happy taco, so we're gonna add some eyes using black and white flood icing. And then I have a tip number one on my piping bag to add some eyelashes and a little smile. This cookie is almost done. We're just gonna rosy the cheeks to really bring this to life. I'm using the carnation pink crystal color and a round Wilton brush. And I'm just gonna move that brush in a circular motion to give our taco some rosy cheeks. And she looks adorable and totally delicious. Now let's take a look at the cookie that goes with the taco. This cookie is gonna say, I love you more than tacos. So that's some big love right there. And I'm just going to outline this fancy rectangle plat cookie with my red icing. And I'm going to create a red border on this cookie just to add something interesting to the background um, behind the text. And so you don't need to use the yellow marker to trace a line, but sometimes it's just helpful to have a guide when you're going to add this little section. I'm using my flood icing to both outline and 
fill in this red border. I'm not using the piping icing on the inside there because I do want this red section and the white section to be flat when I'm all done so that it's easy to stencil. Now before I move into flooding in the full white section of the cookie, I'm just actually gonna add some quick polka dots to this red area. Again, this is totally optional. If it's just easier and quicker for you to make the background in all one color, all red or all white, definitely um, do what's going to save you the most time or be the easiest. So now that I have those white dots on there, I'm going to go in with my white flood icing and just flood the entire cookie in. It's really important since we're stenciling on this cookie that we fill generously so we get a nice flat surface when we go to stencil. If you don't add enough flood icing to the base, you might get some hills and valleys in the surface of the icing and that will not be helpful when you go to stencil because the stencil won't lay flat. Take a look at what I'm doing here. I'm just going back over the transition between the red and white with a little bit of red flood just to clean up that transition and also reduce the appearance of any color bleeding between those two really contrasting colors. All right, now I've allowed this cookie to dry for about six hours and I'm ready to stencil on the surface. I have my icing scraper, thick, stiff, black piping icing, and I'm ready to spread it generously across the surface of the stencil, remove the excess, and then peel back the stencil to reveal the words. And this cookie is done and makes the perfect complement to the taco. All right, now let's jump into the pizza cookie. And I actually provide this free royal icing toppings transfer sheet on the kit page, flowerbox.com. You can find it there as a free PDF download. And I actually made these pizza toppings the day before I decorated the cookies. I just always find it easier to make these toppings in advance. They dry, they're all the same size, and then they're just really easy to peel and pop onto the surface of the cookie. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But I'm using a 20 second icing consistency in my bag and I am outlining and flooding all with the same icing and it just makes it a lot quicker and easier. I don't even bother putting tips on the bag because it'll make cleanup super easy. And for these small little areas, you really don't need to have tips on there. So I'd like to let those royal icing transfers dry overnight. I have some dry ones up at the top here. And then you can just peel them off of the parchment paper and they're ready to go on your cookie. I like to let them dry for quite a while. Sometimes when you put a wet transfer on wet icing, you'll see some of the base color icing absorb up through that royal icing transfer and you might see speckles of color. So definitely allow an overnight dry on your royal icing transfers. All right, so let's jump into this pizza slice. The first thing we're gonna do is spread the sauce on. So I have some red royal icing. This is just in the piping consistency and I have one of my favorite pink spatulas here and I'm just going to spread that icing all the way to the edge because we want that red icing to peek out from behind the cheese uh, just to give this a little bit of dimension and depth to the cookie design. Now I'm ready to pipe the crust section at the top. I have a light brown piping icing and I just add some wiggles at the top and then I have ivory icing and I'm going to wiggle and squiggle my way around the pizza slice. I'll also add a couple of little peek throughs so you can see the sauce beneath the cheese. I have my royal icing transfers on deck and ready to go. So now I'm going to flood in the cheese with that ivory icing and I'm going to flood this pizza slice in completely. Now while this flood icing is still wet, I'm ready to drop and place my royal icing transfers. 
Now, sometimes my transfers don't always go exactly where I want them to go when I drop them in. So if you ever drop one on and it is a little bit misplaced, while this icing is still wet, you can always nudge those transfers into a new position. So don't be afraid to push them around a little bit with the tip of your scribe. And I found that about three heart-shaped pepperonis and three mushrooms fit pretty well on this cookie size using that royal icing transfer sheet. Now you don't have to use royal icing transfers. You could certainly pipe and flood the toppings onto your pizza if that is easier for you than prepping the day before. And you can check out the pizza template. Um, I have both a printable PDF template and also a JPEG if you're using a projector to create your pizza slice on the kit page. All right, our crust is filled in and we're just gonna add some little wiggly lines and dots to add texture to that crust. And this pizza is ready to go. Now I'll show you the cookie that goes with the pizza. This cookie is going to say, pizza my heart, such a sweet little sentiment for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to keep this one pretty simple since the taco was quite a bit of work. I just outlined with my white piping icing and I'm flooding in completely. Again, being generous so that I don't see any hills and valleys. Um, so I get a nice flat surface for stenciling. I'm going to load up my scraper with my black piping icing. So I'm just squeezing a little onto the scraper. I'll get that stencil into place and try to center it on the cookie. And then I'm ready to spread generously across the words. And then you'll see I remove the excess. I do one final pass. Um, that just makes it easier to reuse that stencil over and over again. I find I can usually reuse stencils six to 12 times before I have to clean them and keep going. Now I'm gonna outline this cookie using red piping icing. And one thing I discovered is if you have any extra royal icing transfers, those pizza toppings, you can glue those onto this cookie and it just makes a really cute accent. Take a look at this picture. Okay, we're gonna wrap up this tutorial with the cutest and easiest cookie of this set. We're going to do the Love You A Latte cookie. So let's start off with the latte. I outlined the coffee cup sleeve and the lid, and now I'm going to outline the cup with the sky blue icing. I'll flood the sleeve and the lid in first, and I'll allow those icing areas to dry just for a bit so that we don't get any color bleeding between the blue and the white. Once those sections dry for about an hour in front of the fan, I'm ready to flood in the sky blue icing. Now for the fun part, let's add some details. I'm going to just add some quick white piped lines just to add a little bit of dimension to this coffee cup and make that lid come to life. Now I'll add the face. I have a tip number 1.5 on my black icing bag and I'll add two half circles for the laughing eyes and just add some little eyelashes on the corners and then another half circle for the cute little smile. To add a pop of color, I'm going to blush the cheeks with the pink carnation crystal color. Again, just a circular motion with the brush gets a nice light application of color. Now because it's Valentine's Day, we have to add a cute little chubby heart using pink icing in the corner of the latte cup. And this cookie is ready to go. Here's the cookie that goes with the latte. This is the Love You A Latte plaque. And I'm just going to outline this cookie using pink piping icing, and then I'll flood generously in with that pink flood.
Now that the cookie's flooded in, I'm going to add dots of white flood icing to create a polka dot background. I like that the white is a subtle color. You don't want the background to overwhelm the text, and so we're keeping these colors nice and light so that the text is easy to read. I'm also using black icing for the text just so that it also helps with the readability of the cookies. Again, when you're stenciling on cookies, it's just safe to allow six hours of dry time before you put any pressure on the surface of the cookie. So now that the cookie is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and spread that black icing across the stencil, lift up to reveal, and to finish off this plaque, I'll pipe a white border on the edge. If you had fun watching this tutorial and you want to try these cookies for yourself, definitely check out the Taco Pizza Latte Cookie Decorating Kit on flowerbox.com. It has the four essential cutters and the three essential stencils to recreate these designs. Plus, on the kit page, you'll find bonus information like the icing colors used and a cookie timeline. We'll also have a yield for uh, planning your baking schedule as well. And don't forget to grab that free download for the pizza toppings. It's a royal icing transfer sheet that you can print and slide under your parchment paper to create those fun pizza toppings. That's all for today. Happy Valentine's Day and happy decorating.